Hello and welcome, Paulie here, and I am playing Bannerlord. Now there's been some developments. Now if you look down here, you can see I have 105 influence. So let me explain what's been happening before this massive fight erupts just ahead of us. So I ended up getting, in fact I can't look around while I'm in an army, so I can zoom out just enough. This city here, Lagetta, was given to me. And if I bring up my clan page, I actually have two. Uh, I have quite a lot of real estate now. So I had this castle originally. And then Lagetta was awarded to me towards the end of the war, which was funny because, well, a couple of things happened. First of all, there was a massive battle to defend it one time, which I was a part of, which was nice. But I kind of figured we'd lose it immediately. And then after the army went, because everyone was pretty much battered and beaten, another army came and they were just outside our walls when peace was made. And the thing about this peace is that it was peace with everyone. So Britannia entered into, I think what was about a year of peace maybe more, where no one attacked us. Now, Lagetta is a very poor town as far as prosperity goes. Like, if I go to the kingdom page and show you what I mean. Basically, it was all in the red across the board. Red, 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 red. Like, look at here, the prosperity of various places. These are castles, you know what I mean? A city is normally in about the 10,000 region. Or about 6,000. So, Lagetta, which is mine, is just around 2,000. It's not going great. That's because it's seen a lot of war. Now, that gave me the buildings in Lagetta, which gave me plus three influence, plus the feudal, uh, feudal inheritance basically pushed my influence to the positives, like plus one. And then since then, I've been going around because. My kingdom would still form armies and would just patrol. So I would join them. And as you can see down here, I've got a lot of food on me. And if I show you my inventory, I have a lot of horses. My capacity is massive. So basically, I'm just like a... I just bring food. <laughs> and I've been feeding this army. Which is, you know... I've done it a couple of times. The other thing I found out is if you hand over prisoners like good quality troops or good quality prisoners as well as enemy lords that you've captured if you donate them to your allies in their in their own fortresses or cities if you go up to them go to keep go to dungeon and then you can donate same goes for garrison if you give them troops you get massive influence bonuses but i haven't done that yet because i've been keeping a hold of my troops but i have been donating prisoners so i was able to get out of the hole that we had ended up in, which was about 260 uh, influence, which wasn't good. Now, I feel at some point I'm going to lose this fort, this city and that castle because I'm just not able to hold it and I'm going to be, you know, hemorrhaging influence yet again. So I'm trying to prepare for that. Now, I was going to stockpile influence, but I want to take a risk here. As I was going through the policies in fact i'm tempted to try and like bring a vote for law speakers and get rid of it but the kingdom supports it they like it so as i went looking through the various um policies there's a few of them here and they're just basically if a clan has a certain amount you know if a clan's a certain level they'll gain influence well this has a hundred percent support in the kingdom and there's actually some others as well tier five clans there's another one somewhere here we go tier four clans basically if i can get all these pushed through and passed i'll be able to cancel out all of the negatives i mean right now that would just be more positive but this is kind of like cushioning myself so we don't hemorrhage as much influence as we did before I'm going to propose this, but I worry because if I fail, I'm just wasting a bunch of influence, but we won't know until we try. So I'm going to propose this. 
And I'm going to vote yes, I support it. I'm just going to do a cheap 120. Because it looks like everyone supports it, so... Hell, I could have abstained and we'd have got it through. My relation with the, the king is really bad, I don't know why. So there we go, done. So that has just given me a plus one. I want to try the others, the only bad thing is I've just ran out of influence to do that, so I'll try it later. But this is good news, that is very, very good news. Something else I want to point out, if I can get to it before this fight erupts, because it keeps going in. My steward skill has been increasing because I own, uh, I own real estate. Now I got this perk here, prominence. You receive plus one influence as a vassal. Now I am a vassal to Britannia, but this isn't working. This perk is not giving me any kind of positive there, even like I've checked it even like if it wasn't just listed and it was still working it isn't so that perk is very much broken at the moment <laughs> so just a heads up if anyone's playing hopefully it gets fixed soon but um yeah so anyway there's a massive fight about the erupt here i don't know how to do this do i send my troops in we outnumber the enemy but honestly we outnumbered another enemy recently and they kicked our asses, so... Now I could send my troops to attack. But I'm uh, gonna change this. Also, one thing for future playthroughs, if I ever do another campaign. This skill here, small XP bonus per day to party. I wouldn't pick that. I would go for raise the meek medium xp bonus because what i'm finding is i'm still running around with a lot of below tier 3 troops all the time waiting for them to level up so that medium xp bonus might help i don't know how much but i'd need to try it so that's just uh my thought on the matter anyway we've got a big battle let's do it still rocking the pole arm i'm getting the hang of it I'm hoping that I can turn all this around and uh, get a few more policies passed, then I never have to worry, you know? It's weird, I can just skip through these. I go with no formation, let them handle it. Oh my god, it's night time. I've got to say, this game is very, very dark. I'm hoping we come out of the forest here because I can't see a bloody thing. Like this, this is like armor daisy style of darkness just the way you can't see anything god i can't fight this i can't i don't want to retreat either because i can't see a bloody thing but if i retreat i'm worried that we end up losing a bunch so we'll see yeah, i don't hit a tree i missed them yeah, this is going to be impossible. So don't fight in the forest at night time. It's like my companions don't have a problem. That's the thing. So why is it so dark for the player? You know? I'm going to have to retreat. I can't do that. Hopefully it's not going to hurt us. Instead, I'm going to order my troops to attack. Ten troops, here we go. This might be a mistake. This is the number I'm cringing at, the dead. They're almost out killing us, which is the problem. Almost. We almost lost that. And I only got four influence for it. It's crazy. Took out most of my troops, which is unfortunate. Get 51 prisoners, which is nice. 
That puts me over the personal limit. Well, here you go. You can see all of the horses and camels and mules I have. It helps with the map speed. It increases my carry capacity. And I just stock up on food as much as I can. Definitely seems like the way to go, in my opinion. There's no downside from what I can tell. That's the crazy thing. No downside at all, so... Yeah. My money is still, like, flooding in. I haven't had any money issues. I mean, you saw that I spent... Oh, there we go. Influence going up because we're feeding the uh, hungry, which is nice. It's going up quite a bit. I'm going to be able to push through another... Maybe I'll wait until I've got more influence. Go for 100 rather than 70 so I can put 50 influence on my vote. Because I really want to make it so tier 4 clans and tier 5 clans can get the influence a day. Because the more influence I have, then we're set. We can really start commanding and forming armies of our own. I'm quite happy that we've bounced back from this. That left me at 69. Perfect though, because we're right here. So this means I can go to this place. I can go to the keep. I can go to the dungeon. And I can donate prisoners. And because we've got overflow, 29 prisoners. A lot of them escaped. I can go done. And we went from 69 to 106. Not bad. Not bad at all. What I'm going to do now is... Push through another policy if I can. But let's have a look. Let's have a look. See what there are. Basically at the moment. I just want anything that's going to give me influence. Because I'm so far behind. There's a lot of stuff for the ruler clan. So if you're leading. You can you know. Okay, I'm actually a rank 5 clan now. For kingdom decisions, tier 4 clan choice have double the effect. Basically, nothing else. It's going to have to be these ones. So, where is it? It is... That's uh, tier 5, which would work as well, but... The tier 4 one... And the party size of their leaders is increased by 50, which is... Pretty massive, which might help us a lot. So I'm going to bring this up, and I'm going to vote... And just to ensure that it goes through and doesn't get the last minute override, I'm going to vote 50. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to do 20 because I don't it makes any difference. Done. Are you kidding me? I don't understand that. don't understand that because maybe I should have gone for this instead but um yeah we had the majority of votes it says the council but the final choice comes down to the the ruler as far as I'm aware so he overruled us but it said the clan voted this which is uh, bollocks that's not what happened anyway I'm gonna try doing that again like I said, I've got to get my influence up as much as possible. I was lucky I was able to get the first one up, but... I mean, I could just dump all my troops into this place. It's also a possibility. Anyway, I'm just trying to uh, get myself set up a little bit better. Make sure I'm secure. I'm not going to run into this issue where I end up, you know, in the negatives. So basically, I'm just trying to protect myself. And, ooh. Buy up all the mounts. <laughs> I mean... 
let's just go ahead and grab okay so i just need to i have i get so much money coming in like no reason to fuss about price you know And at some point, it's not even going to matter, but again, this is mostly just to protect myself. You've seen what it was like when we were hemorrhaging influence, so... If I can just make sure that doesn't happen again, we'll be good. But if I lose these cities, then I will start losing influence. So I'm just trying to make sure that doesn't happen. Now, I actually can make a lot of influence with all the food, which is nice, so... That's how we're going to play it. I could go hunting bandits and the like, but we don't get much from that. Do I have anyone that needs upgrading? Yes, I do. I wish there was an automatic button. They've gotten all this like right in terms of how they've set it up, but it would just be nice if there was like a, you know, upgrade all or just like auto upgrade or have, you know, just something like that. Maybe set like a preset. If you get this troop, maybe you can start like a control click on this. Puts a little star there if it was like a two choice option. So it's like, yes, that's what will be picked. That makes sense. Again, I'm roaming around with a lot of lobby uh, troops. There's an army. Let me join it. Best is if I join and it says they've run out of food. Ah, oh, yes. Let me share some of the food I have. Enjoy this grain. It's not really grain at people like you're feeding pigeons. Yep. Yeah. Listen, though, we're making plus three a day. Again, I'm going to bring this up for a vote and just see if we can push it through. Maybe I'll do the other one. I could always do the one about if you own villages. Because that should uh, come out to about plus one point for me. Until I lose the villages I have. Attacking four looters. Alright, let me send my troops. There we go. Gain zero influence for that. Are we at peace? No, we're not. I'm gonna have to... No, I won't. I still have that conspiracy quest, which I haven't been touching. <laughs> so, I probably should stop the conspiracy at some point. Oh god, I hope it isn't a game over. My understanding is you can ignore any kind of storyline quest, so... Is raising. I wonder if there's a way for me to become the leader of the battalions. How to muscle out Caladog? Is that possible? Whoa, 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 whoa! Just stop here for a moment. Oh my God! The door's on the wrong side. Manage town just so I can set some things upgrading. So this is slowly coming together, slowly coming together, which is nice. I need to increase that, build that. Aqueducts is being built, which is nice. That will increase prosperity. I've got money there still. Let me trade. Pop up a little bit. I have plenty of food. I do wonder if I should just dump every troop I have back into this place to ensure we hold it from here on out, but... I don't know. Let's catch up his army. Go. Oh, they're almost out of food as well, which is good. my part is uh, still roaming around i sent out uh, these two because i figured that if they're going out they might make some money but not only that basically these count as part of part of the battalions 
So the more of us we have out there fighting, hunting down the enemies, you know, attacking the enemy lords, the better, you know, we'll have. Because it looked like battalions were losing for a moment, so just making sure that I can have those troops out there is pretty important. Up to 72 here. We're going to start uh, feeding everyone in a moment. There we go, it's coming in now. They're almost out of food. Come on, it's a long march. Everyone's hungry. I want to push through this vote again. But I want to try a different one this time since the first one was... Uh... God damn it. Anyway, I can push a vote through at 70, so let me try it. Maybe they vote against me because they just don't like me. I don't know. Where is it? Oh, so the ones that are like the least are at the bottom. Castle Charters. Castles yield one additional influence per day. See, these ones are like not... This one's 100%. If we get that, it's reduced upgrades and one additional influence. I already have one castle, so that would be more influence. Let's do it. No one's gonna... No one's gonna vote against that. Don't. What? Everyone wanted it, but Caladog did not. Why? Why would you vote no against that? I really hate Caladog. I really hate him. I want to take him out. I want to take over Britannia. Like, I don't know how... Maybe I need to start talking to my fellow lords, see what we can work out. Let me have a look. What happens if I speak to someone here? That's just for trading. That's just for trading. Um, what happens if I give him like, I don't know, 10k? All right, then. I don't see any options to to muscle out. Muscle out Caladog. So that's a bit of a pain. Oh, he's gathering at one of my villages, is he? Hmm. What is the answer, eh? The only thing I can think of is I secure one of my cities or castles loaded up with troops so we don't lose it. And then we make our own kingdom. If it will let me. And then we go fight Caladog, but we will be attacked by everyone else. That's for sure. But man... I don't understand why Caladog's refusing some of these upgrades. Silly. I mean, this place isn't very strong. In fact, we're struggling on food. I wonder if increasing... I could increase the prosperity. That should help with the food situation. And we've got everything else upgraded. Oh man. Running a kingdom is a lot difficult a lot more difficult now. Especially when you've got a king that doesn't like anyone. I feel like that's the only reason he's uh declining all my proposals. Anyway, I'll figure this out. I'm gonna try and push for a few more 
proposals, see if we can get them passed. Anyway, that's all for now. Till next time.